Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching. Today we're in Dynamics and we're going to solve problem 16104. Okay, it says at a given instant, the bottom A of the ladder has an acceleration A equal to 4 feet per second square and a velocity of A equal to 6 feet per second, both acting to the left. Determine the acceleration of the top of the ladder B and the ladder's angular acceleration at this instant. Okay, so what we're giving in here is that we got this ladder and this ladder is basically resting against this wall. However, it's going to start moving with a velocity in a point A has a velocity towards the left and an acceleration. Okay, so we have a velocity and acceleration. What we want to find is what's the acceleration at my point B and uh, what's the angular acceleration at this point. Okay, so what we're going to start, how we're going to start this problem is just like always, let's just write out our givens. So for my givens, we have that the acceleration of A is equal to 4 feet per second square. And then my velocity of A is equal to 6 feet per second. All right. So since we're in chapter 16, well, we're basically going to utilize relative acceleration equation which is our 16 uh, 18 and we're also going to utilize the velocity of a point is equal to this um, equation 16 9 okay so our main objective is to find the acceleration at b as well right so we're going to util start utilizing this equation and the first thing i want you to notice is that well the acceleration of b due to this wall has to be directly downwards meaning that in a negative in the j direction so that's the first thing that i'm going to state is that we're going to have a negative b acceleration but we know that this one is in the j direction okay and this should be equal to the acceleration of point a however we have this one already and we're told that it's towards the left so i'm going to assume this to be negative in the i direction so we got negative four in the i direction and then we have plus and we need to do the cross product of the angular acceleration well the angular acceleration we do not know it yet so what we're going to do is just leave it as a variable um alpha and the direction of the angular acceleration is in the k direction okay cross product and then we have the distance of B with respect to A. Well, that distance is basically this distance over here, right? So from here to there. And since we are decomposing it into I and J convectors, so first we have a, an I direction, an I component of 16 multiplied by the cosine of 30. And this is in the I direction. And very similarly, 16 sine of 30 degrees for the j direction okay then we are done with the distance we have a minus so we're going to write minus and then we're going to have the angular velocity now we don't know the angular velocity of this being however what we can say is that we do know the velocity of a so if we want to know the angular velocity, we can utilize our equation 16.9 in order to find it. How do we do that? Well, we can solve for the angular velocity, which should be equal to the velocity divided by the distance of the point. Okay, so let's figure it out in here in our diagram. So we know that the velocity of A at this point is going towards the left, right? And what do we know about velocities and and the distance? Well, the distance in order to find this angular velocity has to be entirely at 90 degrees. So the distance is actually at 90 degrees. And I'll say it's like something like this. And the reason for that is that well our link A B or our ladder A B has also a vertical distance meaning that we want to know this distance in order to find the angular velocity okay so if i do that well we have that the velocity is six right the velocity of a 
and that distance is basically 16 multiplied by the sine of 30 degrees. We're going to square it, and then we're going to multiply by the same distance vector that we found before, which is this one over here. So what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to copy and paste it over here. That we're going to multiply by that distance between um, B and A, okay? So this is our first equation, and what we can see is that, well, we have one unknown and two unknowns. And in order to solve this, well, we're going to separate it into I components and J components. But before that, let's just try to simplify this equation a little bit further. So we got A sub B in the J direction. And then we have negative 4 in the I direction plus, and we're going to do this cross product. So we're going to cross product alpha multiplied by the 16 cosine of 30. Well, that should give me a total of, so put this in my calculator, 16 cosine of 30 is equal to 13.856 multiplied by alpha. When we multiply the k and the i, we will get a positive j. And then we have the cross product between alpha and 16 sine of 30 in the j. And this should give me, well, negative 8 alpha in the i direction okay and then we have minus and we're going to multiply this number multiply by that number okay that should give me a total of 779 so 7.79 in the i direction since this is not a cross product or anything we just keep the same um, direction and then for the multiplication between this one and this one, we will get a total of negative 7.8. You may ask me why both of them are negative and the negative comes because of the here. So it distributes for here and in here, okay? So now we have our entire equation and what we're going to come ahead and do, I'm sorry, this is not 7.8, this is 4.5. Okay, so now I'm going to evaluate this equation first in the i direction. So what do we have in the i direction? Well, on the left side of the equal sign, we got nothing. We only have j. So we got 0 equal to negative 4, right? This negative 4. And then we got negative a alpha, negative a alpha. And then we got negative 7.79. And from here, we got one equation with one unknown, so we can solve for alpha. Alpha can be equal to negative 4 minus 7.79, all divided by 8. And if we plug this into our calculator, we will get a total of negative 1.47. Okay, and since this is um, angular acceleration, we're going to have radians per second square. Okay, so... This is our first answer for this problem, the angular acceleration. Second, let's go ahead and do the J direction. So the J direction, what do we have? Well, we have negative AB, the acceleration of B, has to be equal to positive 13A56 alpha. And then we know alpha is a negative 1.47, so I'm just going to plug it in there. Then we also have negative 4.5, okay? I forgot to put that this is in the J direction. Okay, so basically our unknown is to the left side and if we multiply these values, we will get a total of negative 24.93. Now, as you can see, we have a negative in here and a negative in here. So we can just simplify that by saying that the acceleration of B is equal to uh, our 24.93 and this is going to be in in feet per second square even though I put that this value is positive that means that's positive because from the beginning I assume that it's going now once right and that we did it by multiplying by, by having a negative a b in there so just for further clarification, we're going to add uh, 
an arrow just explaining that it's going downwards okay so i believe so this is the two answers for our problem we found the angular acceleration and our acceleration at point b so i hope you guys like this video please push the like button subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one